how did you learn to surf in the first place? Well, I, I was, you know, I was pushed in at a young age. You know, my mom was born in the surf culture in Southern California. And so I was just, you know, one of her boyfriends used to just push me in when I was, you know, a little kid, two, three years old, I was pushed onto waves and everybody around me was surfing and all the men were surfing. And so it was kind of like, you know, that's what you did. Like, it's like if you grew up in a town that played baseball or football or some other sport, you just wanted to be like the men that were the guys. And all the guys that I grew up around with or all the men were surfers. So it was just a natural progression, you know, just, hey, that's what you want to do. You want to be like these, you know, these guys that you look up to. How many times were you rescued by lifeguards growing up? Oh, I've been rescued by lifeguards more times than I could count. I mean, it just, it's an endless number. I mean, I, I was rescued m multiple times a week, sometimes daily. After a while, they got tired of it. They were like, hey, you got to tie him up or something, you know? It's like, well, tie I, him up it, and don't let him. <laughs> and that's literally what happened though yeah. too, right? They actually attached a brick yeah, to you? Yeah, well, my stepdad had a, had a, uh, an idea to use a hollow tile brick as an anchor and then a, <laughs> and a piece of rope because what normally happened is I would be playing by the shore and then a wave would come up and it would just knock you over and then pull you out and you uh -huh. couldn't get back and so he figured if I was tethered to the to a rock or something that it would be easier for me to and it worked it, it, it definitely helped me but it probably only led me to go deeper and deeper and further and further which eventually led to you know bigger rescues. Oh, and were you typically <laughs> in trouble when you'd be rescued or, oh, yeah. or is it just No, you? no, I was in trouble. Okay. This 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 beach that I grew up on at Bonsai Pipeline, uh -huh. especially during that time, um, a dangerous beach. People drown there all the time. That was that was not a and, and I was young and you know I, I told somebody I think I was scared so often growing up in the surf that that's partially why I have the the disposition that I do in, in the big surf is is I think I went through that. I mean, I think I cultivated that relationship with being scared. I've been scared so many times. That's, and, and when you're young, those, that fear is much greater than when you're older. You know, you right. like scary movies are really scary when you're a kid and drowning is very scary when you're a kid and being rescued, is, it's real. Was there an instance that you vividly recall that was kind of the most severe example of getting yourself well, I got, I got rescued by my stepdad, by Bill Hamilton one time, uh, at which time I held on to him and he swam for 20 or 30 minutes and then eventually he got tired and he couldn't swim against the current and we both got pulled um, out to sea, like a substantial uh, distance from the shore. Uh, and because of his exhaustion, I think that upped my fear of what was happening. Uh, and, and then, uh, and then you know, at, at a certain point, I I learned about that the current, you know, comes back. So <laughs> it was both of those. <laughs> right. It was extremely scary, but then I also learned something from that that made me ha have a better understanding of of riptides. Did did that cause you to take a step back for a while, or it never was? Yeah, I wasn't yeah, good was about taking a step back. That was seemed like those. I mean. What do we say? Hard to discourage, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, or almost undiscourageable in that sense. I, I, you know, I think obviously when you have those scary things happen, it does, you know, change your, your, you know, it makes you a little more cautious at moments. But, you know, then you have success, and then that leads to you becoming more courageous again, and it's, you know, you're back to the curve. 